Welcome in. Look who's here. A Hi lot again. of people probably recognize you. I've been you. here a few times. He has. We're now you're going to just see me a, a lot more often. Yes, we are saying welcome to the WTAJ well, family, Howard Bernstein. Well, thank you very much. We're very happy to have you, and I love that you coordinated with me already. Yeah, that was just a happy accident. <laughs> that is why I called you Mr. Sunshine, because the yellow tie. I even love if, it. Even if I didn't have a yellow tie. Wait, you Howard call me wanted Mr. us to see his socks. So, no, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> but they are, they are, they got some polka they're dots They're matching on them. They, they're the good. polka dot. I see what you did. Okay, so, fine. Howard, yes. tell us a little bit about you. Let the viewers oh, know goodness. who you are because you're going to be gracing their TV screens every evening, uh, Monday through Friday on WTAJ. Yeah. Well, I, I grew up on Long Island, but I've worked uh, in many different places, Oklahoma City and Rochester, uh, and, and I started in New Orleans, which is a great place to be in your twenties. I do love NOLA. And and I, I left Washington recently after over twenty years because I wanted to get away from the rat race into just mm -hmm. something, uh, maybe a nicer way of life, a nicer pace of life. Oh, I've you're become an essential PA yes. for a bunch of years because Joe and I, Joe Mergo and I, go back a ways. Yes, we actually we have some photos. Let's and, take a look. Um, yeah, this is now we've known, I've known Joe since two thousand. This was a uh, I think it was last summer that uh, Joe, his wife Mara, and my wife Helene. It went too quickly. We're at Punxsutawney. We did a big tour of Punxsutawney, the Kinzu Bridge, and Benazette. The next picture we're, the, you saw, my wife and I going back to 1984 when we started dating. We're high school wow. sweethearts. Wow, your wife is beautiful. Then I took, thank you. I think so too. That's, that's my <laughs> son. That's my son who, in that third picture, when he was eight, we did space camp together. Parent child space There's camp. There's your wife. Uh, so that's you from 84, by the way. Oh, high wow. school sweethearts. Before I was even a that's, twinkle that's in my mom's eye. That's Philip at eight. And I just like the picture because I think I look cool in it. <laughs> and then that's, that's him more recently at 22, and he certainly got the height gene from my wife's side of the family. <laughs> yes, he was towering over the, you there. Which is fine. I'm um, okay with that. So you used to do weather, though. You're yes. a meteorologist yes. for many yes. years. Yes, yes, that's yes. My, that's my, I went to school for atmospheric science. And that's how you kind of met Joe. Yeah, we worked together uh, just briefly in Washington at WUSA for a few years, uh, for a few months, excuse me. And then we kind of hooked up again a few years later and, and just had been really, really good friends since. So. I, I got the pleasure of coming to Central PA, a ski at Blue Knob. I'm going to get a season pass oh, there. Oh, very nice. Uh, and, and a lot of the area has just been, you know, a great place to come visit, and now I get to call it home. Okay, so you loved your tour of Punxsutawney when you went. Have you gone to a Groundhog Day yet? I've not been to Groundhog Day, but we did get the Frank's Five Star. We got to the museum as well. I had a friend from Indiana come over and visit us. So, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a fun day. You're going to love the 814 because I'm a Jersey girl, kind of right next Joy to you. Jo Joy Joy Z. Z, is I that? I don't talk like so, that, Howard. Yeah. If, you, if, you're, if you're a New Yorker, that's how <laughs> you, you compliment your Jersey friends. Yeah, so yeah, Joy you're Z. from you're from New York. I yeah. can tell you talk a little past over there. We just got to listen a little <laughs> bit more quickly. <laughs> but uh, maybe the 814 will let you slow down a little. I, I think a lot of things will let me slow down a little. Uh, looking, that's okay. And you're looking forward to that. Yeah. You also used to work a morning shift. How many years? Uh, <laughs> on and off, probably a dozen or more. You know, as I tell people, you don't get used to waking up at uh, 1.30. You just get oh. familiar with the pain of waking up at 1.30. Yeah, that's, yeah. you're going to like this, though, because now that you're going to be yeah. doing ev evenings, you won't have to really set the alarm that early. No, I just get to stay up as late as I want. Which, <laughs> you know, but naturally, that's my natural rhythm anyway. Yeah, so. and are you a sports guy? Sports guy, uh, yes. I, I have been coaching high school hockey for a oh, bunch of years, nice. although that may be over. Um, I grew up playing Little League, too, so I've been watching the Holidaysburg team. Who's not living vicariously through that awesome trip? I know. Trip? Morgan you know. got the best assignment of the day. She's out there at the Argonne Cafe oh, and, yeah. and rooting on the team with everybody. And I know, yeah, you just kind of started I had to pull myself yesterday. away from the game to come here for you. But thank, I was happy the rain delay happened when it did because it, it's okay. Oh, to... to so I'm not favorite. missing too much of the action. Oh, you're not missing too much. No. So what are some of the things you really want to do here in the 814? Uh, that you're looking forward to in central Pennsylvania? I'm looking forward to exploring a, a lot of the towns around here. As I've gotten older, I, I, I don't want to be on the interstate anymore. I want to take the U.S. highway. I want to take the back road. There's something special about discovering new places and meeting new people. And, and I think there are great people and interesting stories everywhere. I think so, too. Have you met a lot of interesting people in your TV career? Oh my goodness! You know, being when <laughs> I, I feel like I'm definitely interviewing you now. <laughs> all right, you know, I met Buzz Aldrin and John Glenn, just to wow. name some astros. Buzz Aldrin, I don't need to meet him again. John Glenn, and that's all I'll say about that. John Glenn was <laughs> awesome. He was wonderful. He made you feel like you were the only person that mattered, and that was such a special gift he had. 
and what an honor it was for me to meet him and, and many other folks too. But That's you know, when so I think it's just neat. from the space side of stuff and a few other astronauts, I mean, great. Tom Jones was a, a shuttle astronaut. I so got you're to meet. a big space buff. I oh, guess. I, 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 yeah. If they wanted, uh, you know, a TV person uh, on the. Uh, oh, to go into space, gonna, yeah. I would. So uh, you yeah. want to join Bezos? I would, I would, and no, I want to go. In, I don't want to do this little uh, five you don't seconds of space. I want to be, you um, know, you Moon, go. Mars, space station. <laughs> you know, I'm not going for a little five second trip <laughs> on the edge of space. I want to go all the way. One time on the show, we showed a video of them making pizza in space, which was very fun, and that made me think of a conversation mm -hmm. earlier. Since you're from New York, you're very oh. picky about your oh, pizza. I, I am a, a self <laughs> uh, self imposed pizza snob. Yeah. Okay, have you gotten to try the pizza places here in Central Pia yet? Yes, now, now I have, I have. There's one in Holidaysburg, Tatavius, that I, am, I, I do like. Okay. Uh, and, and, and I liked them even before I knew some of the family members. So. <laughs> Yes, because full disclosure. I know because Joe yes. Margo's daughter is engaged to, to Josh yes, Tatavia. Yes. Yeah, everybody. That's something you will learn. So coming from DC, which is a, a very everybody large, knows everybody every, here. here. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows everybody. So I, I do love that. But you kind of got to watch what you're going to say because you don't know who oh. knows you. Oh other. yeah, no best behavior. <laughs> yes. Yes, you yes. have to be on your best behavior. But it is fun. And what I love so much is the community here, and yeah. you're going to love it, especially when you said you already got recognized at a curve game. Uh, yeah, I went over to get the uh, the, 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 the curve bur the burger. Curve burger. I got, I got the whole meal combo you did thing it. there. Yes. So, yes. And yes. And the like, gentleman who was serving it. And he said, T A J. He said, How long is your dinner break? <laughs> that, that's how I knew he, he was watching. That's so, very fun. Yeah. So we're so excited to have you on board. And anything else you're looking forward to? I, I'm just looking forward to learning. Mm -hmm. and growing and, and you know I think uh, one of the things I, I try to preach is getting out of your comfort zone I know some people aren't happy about that or comfortable with that but you know that's the whole point getting out of your comfort zone trying something new growing and learning new things is is how we just expand and keep learning and yeah, you know, know as opposed to just you being stagnant stayed, you could have stayed you know as a meteorologist but now you're challenging yourself and growing yeah. as an anchor which I, I, think I did it for over great. 30 years and it's been great and I love it and, and yeah part of me is gonna miss it but, Here's to 30 but this years is a new here. this is a new <laughs> challenge a new start yeah, a new adventure new, I love that and uh, your optimism and energy this guy is raring to go at 930 in the morning <laughs> You're, yeah, you're she, she tried kicking me out of our office like five times earlier. <laughs> I did. But I was like, ah. Oh, but Maureen go. and I were having a good chat, even though it bothered you, I know. No, no. Oh, you didn't mention your son, Philip. Yeah, Philip, uh, my wife and I, we're high school sweethearts. We've got just Philip, the one child, who lives outside of Madison, Wisconsin. He's got a great job. Uh, he, he got out of high school a couple years early. He just wanted to move on. Wow. So he was 21 when he graduated college. And, and now he's an know, engineer. Uh, he graduated with a degree in engineering, but he's not an engineer. He works for a company called Epic, which is healthcare uh, oh, management, a record management. Nice. And he's just, he's crushing life. So <laughs> we're very proud and happy with his success. I love it. And I'm sure people will be hearing about your family because you will be gracing the TV screen. On occasion. Yes. Right here, here in the w, yes. on WTAJ. So uh, your big debut starting. In you just got a few minutes. Six minutes. I've got to get next door. <laughs> We've got a lot more stuff to come. Stay with us.